is it bad that the main thing I thought about during this show was how much this character would hate trolls too? Hello everybody and welcome to the Anime Zone. I'm your host Brian and today we're going to be talking about Goblin Slayer and my first impressions on it. And I know this anime came out a few weeks ago, if not like last month. But I'm here to talk about specifically my first impressions on the dub, which came out a few days ago. Now, I'm sure you already heard about this anime, because it gained a lot of controversy due to Crunchyroll not properly labeling it and giving its proper warnings because of scenes like this. And that's all I'm showing of that! Because, yeah, this episode is a really dark start to any kind of series. The way I can really rationalize it is that the group of adventurers that we are first introduced to are, like, people who played a whole lot of Final Fantasy, beat every game, perfected each Final Fantasy, and thought that, oh, I know fantasy RPGs, let me play Dark Souls, it'll be a breeze. That's what these characters were, and they were wrong. Very, very wrong. There was a mortality rate of 50%. Half these people died, one got raped. And the other one was kind of fine, a little mental scarred, but overall, she got off scot-free because she was saved by the Goblin Slayer. And now the Goblin Slayer is where I'm going to start talking about the dub of this. Because I was kind of excited to hear this voice, because I know there's a lot of voice actors that can kind of do a really cool, kind of bassy voice, where it's just like, the only good goblin is a dead goblin. Like, obviously I can't do it, but you get the idea of what I'm trying to convey, and they don't do that. He doesn't sound horrible, but he doesn't sound like how I wanted him to sound. I kind of wanted that bassy badassness to really do that and also speaking of that line the only good goblin is a dead goblin is that's not the line in the dub in the dub it's the only good goblin is the ones who are smart enough not to see the light of day that just rolls off the tongue don't it so yeah that that was a main problem with mine in the entire anime, but overall, the other voices weren't that bad. The priestesses, whose name I don't remember if it was introduced or not, she, I liked her voice, and I'm gonna hear a lot more of it because she goes off with the Goblin Slayer to slay more goblins at the end of the episode. Also, I want to think that he's actually a Platinum because they actually have ranks in this thing, kind of like an Overlord where they're based off of minerals. Where, like, a mid-tier rank is silver and the highest is platinum. And since those colors really look very similar, and they were in a cave when she thought that he was a silver, I'm betting he's actually a platinum. And I am not going to be surprised if that happens. But yeah, as far as first episodes go, it was certainly uncomfortable to start an anime like this. But I am interested to see more episodes and see how this character regresses, because he is undoubtedly a badass, if not cruel and unusual, because he killed a bunch of baby goblins, and I can understand why they're kind of like the Tolkien goblins, where they're kind of just pure evil. So I, I don't really have that many gripes with that to say, but I'm just still kind of interested to see why he's like this, because obviously he can't just be like this. Uh, there has to be a reason. Though I kind of would like it if he was just like this. I would just like it if he had an irrational hatred of goblins that drove him from the day he was born for no reason other than that's just who he is. I, I would find that so much more interesting than anything they could possibly say about it. But yeah, I'm going to watch this entire series and then give a review of it once I finish it. And that's how most of my first impressions will go from here on out. I will judge it 
based on the first episode, see if I want to continue it or not, and then if I do decide to continue it, I will give a review of it no matter what. And you can look forward to that with Goblin Slayer, so I'm very excited to see more of this. It's a very interesting take. It's not an original take on characters that... It's like, I haven't not seen characters like this before, but I'm very interested to see how this one goes. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, and please join me again in the void. Catch you later.